Hi, welcome to another show of Russ on Flowers. I'm your host, Russ. We're back at Joliet Junior College here with Professor T. Yep. We're going to be talking about and designing a table centerpiece and or long all and around, low design. Right, yep. long and low design for the holidays. And why don't you tell us what we have here? What well, we're going to be using today. We're going to be using some boxwood, which has really a long lasting ability when it's down inside a foam. This will easily carry you through the holidays. We've got some broad or short needled uh, noble, noble fir, fir right. and some long needled white pine. And all of them are extremely fragrant, so it's going to be a really beautiful centerpiece when we're done with lots of texture. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out using small pieces of the boxwood up towards the center of this design. Now because we are going to be using taper candles, we want to make sure that our boxwood stays relatively low so that when we're burning and enjoying our holiday festivities, we don't catch the house on fire. So we're going to use the boxwood in it. And basically what we want to make sure that we do is we remove all the lower leaves from the piece of boxwood so that it does not take up a large amount of foam and cause the foam to, uh, to split apart or to shatter. So we're gonna use boxwood in the center of this design. And really, it takes a minimal amount of boxwood. It's naturally glossy. Of course, you can spray it with a leaf shine product to make it a little bit more shiny, but it is a, uh, a relatively long lasting foliage. And what we're going to be making is a long and low design, which means that the perimeter of our arrangement is going to look like a kite. We're going to have a short piece on the front and back side and longer pieces on the left and right. And it will be a, a beautiful addition to anybody's table if they're serving for the holidays. Again, with the white pine, we're going to remove the lower needles off of that stem so it doesn't blow our foam. And we're going to stick a long piece to the east and a coordinating piece over here to the west and we want them to be this about the same length and then we will have a shorter piece to the north and angling down touching the top of the table and a shorter piece to the south look at the perimeter of these first established pieces we've got a kite or a diamond shape and we don't want any of our future foliages or materials to come out of that. So we've got an imaginary boundary now that we're going to add smaller pieces of white pine and I generally do the bottom perimeter of this arrangement first just to establish my size and I always like to make sure that my pine or whatever foliage I'm using is dripping over the edge of that container. I just think it makes a really pretty finished kind of relaxed design. And again, always remove the needles so that the pine inserts easily and doesn't blow the foam. And I'm going to put salt and pepper my white pine throughout the design. And again, this design, when we're using no fresh flowers in this design, it's all going to be holiday tchotchke and fresh greenery. So it will holiday easily tchotchke. take us through the new year you know, pine cones and artificial berries and fun items that have uh, no shelf life. And again, just random placement. I think one of the mistakes that when my students make these designs is they try to line everything up and they wind up placing everything in all at the same height all the way around and then the top of the block of foam gets chopped off. So it's much better to randomly place your, your greenery. And then we're going to add some beautiful noble fir and it's the same thing, when you use this, you have to make sure that you remove all the needles from the base of this. And I'm going to stick some of these in so it touches the top of the container. And I'm gonna randomly add these as well. Just, it, it adds a lot of texture to the design. It smells really good. And again, we gotta be kind of mindful of our, of our established boundaries so that we're not coming out of our established size or our kite shape, our diamond shape. And again, periodically turn your design to make sure that you're hiding all your mechanics. You don't want the foam to show. We've and talked about that a thousand times on the show. Relatively fast amount of time, we've got a really nice full centerpiece. I'm going to put one little piece right here. Nice full centerpiece with um, relatively inexpensive greenery, which is of course available through RussWholesaleFlowers.com. Looks great. And then we can start adding our tchotchke. We're going to be using these pre-picked 
pine cones that have a little bit of white paint on there to kind of give it a frosted effect. And these just stab right into the foam. Is there any? I'm just going to no nope, on on these guys. I'm just going to salt and pepper these throughout the design. And they are on wood, so the wood will swell, which will help lock them into position. I kind of put the smaller cones towards the bottom and the big ones towards the, what would be considered the focal area or the mass design. Oops, doesn't want to go there, then you can live there. Okay. And then we're going to use some of this artificial berry material that, again, lasts all winter, which is unlike some of the winter berries, which of course you could use in this centerpiece. Same thing. Same right. thing, oh, this is an artificial winter berry, which picks up the red of our candles, of our tapered candles, and these can come out of our established perimeter. Again, we gotta be mindful of the candles so that we're not making them too tall. We catch something on fire, but these can come out of our established boundaries. So we'll put a nice long piece over here. And they are bendable, so if they're not cooperating, you can bend them. And then I thought we would also add some of these really pretty simple little ribbon loops, which anybody can make as well with any type of ribbon. So you can coordinate with your other decor that you have in your home. Make sure we got some scissors here. And all I do is I work off of the bolt. I cut my initial piece on an angle. I just lift up and make a loop, cut the next at an angle so it's ready to go for my next loop, gather it at the base, attach a wood pick, and just twist the wire on nice and tight. And then I finished it off with some floral tape so to hide my mechanics on it so it blends a little bit better and we don't see that little wire that's on there. So then these guys just get inserted into the centerpiece randomly and I kind of make the tail stick out. I think it looks better when the, the little tail of the ribbon points out. And then my final, I love these iced branches. We're going to put a little bit of this in here just because it adds a little bit of glitz. To, it's called an iced branch. It's just a birch branch that has a little bit of frosted snow, artificial snow on it. And that's the same thing. It's the same similar placement as your holly branches, as your artificial holly branches. And all I'm doing is just adding random placement. It doesn't need to be on a picket. It, it jabs directly into the foam. The completed design again it's a, a traditional table centerpiece for people who are going to be eating and conversing around it a long and low a little bit of boxwood our broadleaf material a little bit of the noble fur, fur and then our long needled white pine and then of course our artificial berries our artificial the real pine cones but they're painted a little painted frosting on there and our artificial birch branches with a little bit of ice on it and there we have our traditional long and low design I'm All available at RussWholesaleFlowers.com. Thanks for having us out for the show. Great job, and happy holidays. We we'll look forward to seeing you next time.